tiny knitting. You're going to need some black yarn, bonbons from Lions uh, brand is what I'm going to use. You'll need some double pointed needles. Three millimeter thickness is what I'm using for this project. You will want to have a set of five. And we're going to cast on 27 stitches. You will need to have plenty of yarn for long tail cast on. So you can maybe do three, three hands of yarn, for example, it doesn't have to be very precisely measured. And you are going to cast on 27 stitches holding two needles together. And let's start our knitting journal page for this project. So the first was casting on 27 stitches. The next thing you will want to connect the round. Nine stitches will go onto each of three needles you're going to have, so total of four. 9 stitches on one needle, 9 on the second, 9 on the third, and a free fourth needle for knitting the round.
Now we are going to connect this first round. We want to knit three rounds in all, so we will knit two more rounds. Let's keep up with our knitting journal. So you will now connect the round. You're maintaining nine stitches on each needle. And you will knit total of three rounds with these 27 stitches. We already made the first round, which we're going to connect now. So two more rounds. Now we've finished the three rounds. Let's write down first what we're going to do next. Next round, you will knit two stitches together, then knit seven, knit seven, Knit two together, knit seven, and knit two together. After that, you will knit one round with the new number of stitches. Let's do that.
Let's get our knitting journal and write down the next step. Now, the next round will go knit two together, knit four, not th three, four, knit two together, knit six, knit two together, knit six, and knit two together. Then you're going to knit one round with the new number of stitches. Let's do that. Let's get our knitting journal and we write down the next step. Next round you will knit two together, knit two, then knit two together, knit five, knit two together, Knit five, knit two together, and then you will knit one round with the new number of stitches. Let's do that.
our knitting journal again, write down the next steps. Knit two together. Knit three. Knit four. Knit two together. Knit four and knit two together. Then you will knit one round with a new number of stitches. Let's do this. Let's get our knitting journal. We write down the next step. Next round. Knit two together. Knit two. Knit two. We double check. Can we do that? Yes. Knit two, knit five from the next needle, knit three after that, and knit two together. This should work. Okay, let's do this round. Let's get our knitting journal. Write down the next step we will do. You will, on the first stitch, make one more stitch, which means you will turn two stitches into one. Knit five, then you will do the same thing. On the next stitch, you will make one extra, then knit one. After that, you will make one extra on the next stitch. Repeat 
You will need to have 16 stitches. I think we can repeat, but I might be wrong. We will see as we go around. After we adjust the number of stitches, we will knit one round. So let's see if we can repeat the full sequence to get 16. So pay attention here. You want to make one. I'm using that short, but you're making one. One extra and knitting the one that you're making it on. So here you're going to make one extra stitch with the bridge from below. And you will knit the stitch. So now you have two there. You made one extra and finished the one you made extra on. And now you knit one, two, you go to the next needle, three, four, five. Now the next stitch, you're going to do the same thing. You will pull the bridge from below. You will make one extra and you will finish the stitch you made one extra on and now you will knit one. You go to needle number three. On the first stitch you make one extra. Pull the bridge from the bottom. Add the stitch, make one extra from that and finish the one you were on. And then knit four. One, two. We don't have enough stitches to knit four. We do three and we count to check what happened. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Do I have sixteen? One. I have to undo this stitch and make one extra because I don't want to have 15. I want to have 16. I will have to make a note in our knitting journal. We couldn't repeat the sequence. We had to do make one extra, knit two, make one extra. So make one knit five, make one extra, knit one, make one extra, knit two. There was make one extra, knit two. You can see here, there is two, and then we made one extra on the last stitch to have 16. And now we need to knit one more round. So let's make sure that we have in our knitting journal that for this project, M1 means make one extra, turn one stitch into two stitches. In other patterns, it may not always mean the same, but for our project here, for this miniature cat, that's what we're going to use. We will use M1 to tell us that on one stitch we're going to knit two. We will turn one into two. We will make one extra. Okay, so now we need to knit one round on these 16 stitches. It will soon make sense why I wanted to have 16 at this point.
Let's get our knitting journal and write down the next step. So make one extra, knit seven, make one extra, knit one, make one extra, Knit four, and what I want to have twenty stitches, so I need to recount this two, nine, eleven, twelve, fourteen. So it's not knit five, it's knit four and make one extra. Let's try it again. Um, it's going to be knit four. I know I wrote down knit five, but we're going to count and we will see what we get. So here, remember, you're pulling that bridge from underneath. You make one extra, that's two stitches. Then you knit seven, that will be nine. Now you make one extra, turn one into two, that will be eleven. You knit one more, that is twelve. Now you make one extra and finish the stitch, that is fourteen. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18. So knit four and then turn the last stitch into two to have 20. We will make a note of this in our journal that it, it was not going to work out with five. Knit four is what we need. And now we want to knit two rounds on these 20 stitches. We go to the next page in our knitting journal. This is our black cat, the tiny knit miniature knitting project black cat. You can make it, of course, in any color you choose. 
So next we're going to knit two together, knit five, knit two together, knit one, and repeat. Yes, that's going to work out. I'm counting again. We're going to have that will work out. We will count to make sure. Three, uh, no, one, six, seven, eight, and eight, sixteen. I want to get back to sixteen. And then we will knit one round on those sixteen. Let's add the note to our knitting journal. We want to knit one round on these 16 stitches. place where we want to make the little ears for our miniature cat. We'll have the tail at the end, but here we want to add little ears. To do that, we need to rearrange the stitches. Three stitches, the last three stitches of the last needle and the first three stitches of the first needle or of the round. The last three stitches of the round and the first three stitches of the round will become one ear. There will be two stitches on front and back between the ears, and then six stitches on the other side. For right now, we will take three stitches from the end of the round and three stitches from the beginning of the round. We will work one ear on these six stitches. Let's put this in our knitting journal. So the first ear, we, re re we redistribute on our needles to have three last and three first stitches of the round together. Then we're going to knit those six stitches in a round two times. So two little rounds on those six stitches. And then we're going to knit two together three times to be left with three stitches, one on each needle. And then we will Pull the yarn through those three stitches to tie off. 
Now you can watch the video, it gets very tricky because it's very tiny, but in reality what you're doing is you're making a tiny round, you're using three needles only on this side, two stitches on each needle, and now you want to knit that tiny little round two times. So a little bit of readjusting, I like to move all the other stitches to one needle so that I don't have too many needles in this tiny little cramped space. And then I'm going to carefully knit two rounds and six stitches, knit two together in the third round three times, and tie it off. That was very intense, I know. I hope you did not get too frustrated, uh, but it is very tricky, even though it's so few stitches and so little, so little bit of the project, but that's the hardest part. Once we're done with the ears, you're done with the hardest part of the project. Let's tie it off. We need to redistribute the stitches. We want to take two stitches from on the front and two stitches on the back, which will be between the ears, and we will put them on the side. We're not going to work them yet. So they have to stay like this. 
I will put them all on one needle because it's easier to manipulate fewer needles. And now the six stitches for the second ear are ready for us. We will do the second ear in exactly the same way. We will make two rounds on these six stitches and then we will do knit two together three times to have three stitches left and then we're going to tie it off. So first we want to write this in our journal. Remember to place the two stitches on each side of ear one on a holder and then you do ear two. Knit six stitches in a round two times. Knit two together three times in the third round and then tie off. And at the end, you're going to sew the top four stitches. But let's first do ear number two. All right, now you're officially done with the hardest part of this project. We're going to tie it off and then we will use the yarn sewing needle to sew the top. You will want to sew carefully so that there are no holes at the top of your cat's head. You can watch how I did it. You don't have to do it in exactly the same way, but do make sure that your sewing closes the stitches fully uh, once you're ready to do that.
it's fun that you can already see the shape of your little miniature cat. It's time to put some stuffing inside. I like to use wool roving for that. Do not overstuff. Uh, you want it to be nicely shaped but not overstuffed so that the stitches do not get stretched out. So first put the tail inside and then some wool and once it's nicely stuffed we're going to pick up the stitches around the bottom to knit the base. Let's now pick up the stitches around the bottom. You will want to pick up 27 stitches. You will use three needles and you will pick up nine stitches from the very bottom row with each of your three needles for a total of 27 stitches. Let's now write in our knitting journal the bottom so I did not write that on top on the top we had to tie off the top four stitches but now we will do the bottom We just finished picking up 27 stitches. In the next round, you're going to purl all 27 stitches one time around.
Let's go to our journal. You will knit two together. You will knit two and then two together all the way around. And then you will knit one more round. So knit two, knit two together all the way around repeating. And then knit one more round. Let's go to our knitting journal. The next thing we will do is knit one, knit two together. You will repeat that all the way through the round. And then you will knit one more round. All right, let's do this part.
Let's go to our knitting journal. Next, we will knit two together all the way around. And then we will tie off. And close the bottom. to cut off and use the sewing needle, thread it through the stitches, pull it closed and sew it shut. And that will give us the base for our miniature black cat. We will put the tail on one side. You will notice, you will choose the side, but I like to put it on the side that you notice how the pattern led you to have more of an angle on one side. So that's where we want to line up the tail. And we pick up three stitches from the purl row along the base, along the bottom. One, two, three purl stitches on this side. See how the way we were decreasing in those rounds, we made one side like its back is kind of going more angled than the other side. So that was the thinking behind that. So let's add to our knitting journal tail, pick up three stitches at base, and then you will knit an I cord to make the tail length you choose. You can make it as long or as short as you choose. And you will be reminded now what knitting an I-cord is. You will see me knit three, slide back to the beginning. You never turn the row when you knit an I-cord. So here we go, knit three, 
then slide and knit three again. See, you're not turning the rows for I chord, you slide. I like to knit with both strands here so that I don't have a another piece of yarn to tuck in and it also gives me a little thicker base here for the tail it's going to make it easier uh, to, to 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 have it held up at the end so for the eye cord remember you knit three you slide the needle you don't turn the row knit three slide the needle don't turn the row and you do that until you have the length of the tail that you choose. Here I want to check the length of the tail and I want to trim the yarn. And now we are going to continue knitting the eye cord. Let's check the length. I will want to attach it here to the body. So I'm almost there, almost as long as I would like it to be. 
I'll knit a little more. It's time to tie off here and I want to have a longer tail so that I can use my sewing needle, thread the yarn through the cat's tail to the middle and then attach it to the body of the cat. this end and our little miniature black cat knitting project is finished. You can maybe choose to make some accessories for your cat. I'm thinking maybe it could have a scarf or a hat or maybe you don't choose any accessories to make for your cat. black cat. Happy knitting!